Here we have an example of a wildfire, though it's very contained and in my fire pit at my backyard. As you can see, the dry cedar leaves flash in a raging fire almost instantaneously. Um, this can happen in forests also if there are dead trees around and brush on the ground and anything. Uh, it can cause major damage and uh, kill just about everything there. I like how they turn white. Mm -hmm. Hey, Owen. <laughs> How many different kinds of wildfires are there? There's four types of wildfires. Crowding, <laughs> jumping, spotting, and smoldering. And if you don't know, this is crowning. It's simple. Okay? But if you look... Don't forget blazing. You know what? I got it. <laughs> Stand up! Stand up, it's not going in the bloopers. This is gonna be the actual okay. video. Okay. Well, fires travel faster uphill than downhill, as you can tell, because heat travels up. You know, convection currents and all, that doesn't work that way. <laughs> so it would travel faster upward than it would downward. Yeah. Hey Josh, how do most wildfires start? They start from cigarette butts, uh, campfires, grills, or lightning. They the, most most fires actually start from uh, cigarette butts or uh, grills, but less than five percent of uh, fires start from campfires and lightning. The flash point is also known as the ignition point, which is where anything can light a few leaves on fire and that can spread all throughout the ground and up the trees and everything. This can get out of hand very quickly, causing much destruction and lots and lots of damaged costs. For a real world example, in 1988, in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, a fire known as the Shoshone Fire had erupted and destroyed most of the natural foliage and killed off most of the animals. Wildfires spread mostly by heat and or wind. <laughs> the wind the wind blows the fire and heats up other things around it, causing them to catch also. This can cover extreme amounts of acres and land and cost lots and lots of damages and repair money. Stop! Hit the fan! Roll!